right, good day from Osaka, guys. Are you guys ready to eat some delicious street food? I'm here joined by the local expert, Lin. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Lin. I have a little channel of my own as well. That's right, go check it out. It's just down below here. But we're gonna explore my top and favorite street food here in Osaka, the Tombury. It's my second time here. Yeah. But Lin's gonna help me eat it because, you know, it's gonna be plenty for everybody. All right, let's go. All right. So the first stop is my favorite place, which is the Grilled Crab. So this place is called Tani Doraku. It's a famous crab chain here that we've got. They've got the grilled crab that we're going to give a go right now. So I got all the crab for myself. Sorry, me. Mm. The meat is really sweet. So you know it's actually very fresh. It's very simple, they just basically charcoal grill. As long as the meat is fresh, it really tastes delicious. Japan quality, everything is so fresh, so beautiful. And so good. Mm. <laughs> and this one costs about $10 Australian dollar, which is 900 yen. It's worth it because look at the meat. So, Nick, I'm sorry, I'm gonna finish this off. <laughs> Alright, so we are off to our second stop, but apparently the place where we got our crab, it's also a restaurant right above us here, so if you wanna eat dinner, you can go up there and they serve plenty of selection of different type of crabs. Pretty good deal. So currently we're in this gyoza place. It's actually Lin's favorite store. He loves gyoza and I love gyoza. It's Osaka Osho. But check out that. Oh, oh my god, look at that. Cheese so so much cheese. Oh. Yeah. This is the only place that I know that does cheese gyoza. 520 yen and you get six, six pieces of gyoza for 520 yen. Pretty good deal. There you go, just cut that a little bit. Oh wow, wow, look at this. Look at that. You are. Oh my gosh. You can see the smoke coming out, it's dripping too, the cheese. Uh, let's try it again. Mm. Mm. Really juicy, right? Really, really cheesy. Just a little bit of a pool there. Yep, nice crispiness on this side here where it's been grilled. Mm -hmm. And the, the pork is just so tasty and mm. succulent, really nicely seasoned. It's a pork and chive filling inside that one. Mm -hmm. Looks like they got some, uh, some pepper there. Yeah. Some pepper there? Yeah, some yeah. cracked pepper. So you got a little bit of like this kind of like kind of spicy. Yeah, pepper. Right, right after that. Oh, yeah. oh, it's so good. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Next, we're gonna eat something sweet, which is dango, which is technically like grilled mochi. Lin likes the... Oh, mitarashi is fantastic. <laughs> Sweet soy sauce, how can you go wrong with that? Wow, look at that. Ooh, it's just dripping. Mm. Nice charcoal, chewy mochi, and the sweet soy sauce. There's a reason why this is my favorite. That combination works just so well. I love it. So a trip to Osaka won't be complete without takoyaki. You know why? Because takoyaki was invented in Osaka. In the Tonbury Street, there are a lot of takoyaki, but I actually got this one called one second. <laughs> Odori Dako. You know why? Because there are tentacles. Look at that. This place is quite generous with their filling. So you can see right there the tentacles even. Ooh. It's like one baby octopus right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Very 
Oh, I burned my tongue. This place is like takoyaki land. There's like takoyaki places everywhere, left and right. Crazy. But it's all good, huh? Yeah, man. That's the great thing about Japan. You just can't go wrong. Any restaurant will have good food. Yep. Oh, dude, pork belly. It's pork belly. And that's my chicken. Kanpai. Kanpai. I can't pay. Because <laughs> literally, Lin paid for it. How is it? Really juicy and succulent chicken. Nice charcoal grill on that. Just nice, slightly sweet, savory sauce. So good. So I got the pork skewer here. It's a pork belly. Look at the amount of fat there on the side. It's got some uh, teriyaki sauce, so it's gonna be sweet. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, good. That's so good. Really good. It's quite tender, actually. Yeah. It's quite tender. Yeah. And I love the blowtorch action oh, they got yeah. going as well. Every like, chef here is like a showman. Here, you know? <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Beautiful. So right now we're gonna get some tamago sembe, which is an egg sembe, which is a rice cracker with an egg and brown sauce and mayonnaise. Something I always eat at festivals, one of my favorite festival foods. All right, so what I've got here is actually the mochi cheese sembe. A bit of an upgrade and it includes mochi, wow. which is like uh, the rice cakes and cheese. And then it's got egg, mayonnaise, sauce, and the rice krispies on the sembe rice cracker. Wow. I've never had one in my life, so this is my first. All right, do you want to have the honors of the first bite then? Do you want to go for it? Okay, sure, sure. Mm. Okay, so the, the real gold will be once we get to the middle where we got the mochi and the egg. It tastes like you're eating, because you got that tempura like rice crackers there. The bits there it really feels like you're eating tempura. It's also very um, salty. Mm -hmm. I gotta try and do this without breaking the cracker. Okay. Mm. Nice eggy, cheesy hit. And then. Where's the mochi at? Just there, I think that's the mochi there. It's Ooh, a bit glistening. Okay. Yeah, I can see that there, right there. So, like a little bit of like rice cake there. <laughs> You want to break? You want to put it together like it? A, like like a burger? You know? You want to fold it together? Try. <laughs> oh wow! That's there you go. That's actually now, a pretty strong sembe. Now it looks like a taco. Yeah, taco sembe. It is. It is a taco sembe. Isn't it? Literally taco sembe now. <laughs> well, there you go. So good. That egg. Yep. Flavor. Yep. Really hits the spot. Really hits the spot. That is a one hell of a combination. You've got the sanbei, you got the egg, and you can feel a little bit of the mochi too, very chewy as well. Mm. This is delicious, absolutely delicious. This place here, just in America Mura. The address is down, down below in the description, so check it out. Currently, I am here in America Mura, an area to the left of Shinsaibashi. I want to get my melon pan in the Tomburi. I've checked online, and apparently, it's just down this street here behind me. So, we're gonna check that out, and we're gonna taste the best melon pan with some ice cream. All right. Last trip to Osaka, which is back in around March, April, we ate three times in three days. That's how good it is. Apparently, the sign says that this is the second most delicious melon pan in the world. <laughs> I don't know why they don't say they're the first. They're pretty honest about it, I guess. You have this kid, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite Osaka dish, which is melon pan. So you can actually just buy the bun itself. It only costs 200 yen. But I actually got the ice cream. Even though it's winter, it's really cool because the melon pan looks 
This is actually warm. That's delicious. The melon pot itself is fresh. It's piping hot, and the 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 pastry is just so chewy and just so soft. And then just this crunchy, crispy outer layer, beautiful. And then the contrast between the hot melon pan and then that cold vanilla ice cream is delicious. Another round. We don't share this. So we're right now we're running up here in Pablo to finish off the night after eating so much delicious food here. It's a Japanese cheese tart, so it's going to be fantastic. It actually originates here from Osaka, That's right? right? That's right. So this is where all it started. Everything that we eat tonight, most of them are actually from Osaka. So there you go. Cheese, cheese, cheese. cheese. Mm. Holy, so good. It's really, really rich in cheese. Mm -hmm. mm. Very sweet though. Really sweet. You got a bit of like a lemon hit in there yeah. as well. The outer layer is very, very crunchy too. Oh, I love the pastry. Mm. The pastry is just so nice to make. Such a good way to end the night. Yeah. Oh, this Absolutely. is really delicious. Absolutely yeah. delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's street food episode brought to you by us and Lynn. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. <laughs> the guest star. <laughs> That's right. Well, if you're coming down to Osaka, let us know in the down in the comments what street food do we miss and what which one did you try. Maybe we should try that next time. Leave it down in the comment and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe because it's free anyway. So until next week, I'll see you guys later. Bye.